guys, welcome back to Beauty on a Budget where I teach you my tips and tricks for couponing and saving big on drugstore beauty products. Let me tell you. So if you are new to my channel and you don't know about Beauty on a Budget, I will leave the link to every video in the series so that you can check it out. And I highly recommend that you stop, go check out video number one. I really talk about couponing 101 in that video, so I do highly recommend that you check it out either before or after this video so that you can really get a feel for what Beauty on a Budget is. Okay, and if you are not new to Beauty on a Budget, well, welcome back because it is making a comeback. I do wanna let you guys know I heard your request, your DMs, your Snapchats, and voila, it's back. So the thing with the coupon deals, it varies week to week. And in the summertime, the deals were amazing. As back to school was approaching, the deals just weren't there. I was trying. And typically the deals pick back up around Thanksgiving time for Black Friday, but they just didn't do it this year. And I was really bummed about it. But I did try last week and it just, it just wasn't working. So this week I really sat down and was like, you know what? Let's see what I can do, and I'm so excited. I did give you guys a sneak peek on Snapchat and Twitter of the haul. Okay, let's jump into this haul. This week, Suave was running a promotion for spend 15 on their hair care products and get five bucks back. So that's what I did. And in conjunction with that promotion, they were also running a sale on their hair care products. The shampoos and conditioners were two, four, six bucks. So I picked up five of their hair care products. I picked up three shampoos and two conditioners. They were three bucks each. So I did hit the mark for spend $15 to get five bucks back. Nivea was also running a promotion this week. When you spend $10 on their lotion products, you get five bucks back. So I picked up two of the in shower body lotions, which this stuff is amazing. They were $6.49 each. So I hit that mark of spending $12 or more to get five bucks back. So for this transaction, I bought three shampoos, two conditioners, and two Nivea body in shower lotions for a grand total of $27.98. But oh no, 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 we're not gonna pay $27.98. I did use a CVS coupon that they emailed to me for $5 off a $25 purchase. I used two manufacturer coupons for $3 off two Suave hair care products. And I used one manufacturer coupon for $3 off two Nivea body lotions. And I did use 12 extra care bucks that I rolled over from a few weeks ago, which brought my total down to $1.98. What? $1.98. And it gets better because I got 10 bucks back in extra care bucks. So in the couponing world, this transaction was actually a moneymaker for me because I spent $2, but I got $10 back. So that was transaction number one. I also did another transaction because there was so many good deals this week that I had to. Moving on to transaction number two. Dove was running a promotion this week for spend $15 on their hair care products and get five bucks back. And in conjunction with that promotion, the Dove shampoos and conditioners were on sale for $4. So I picked up three shampoos and one conditioner because believe it or not, I go through shampoo way more than I do conditioner. They were four bucks each, so this was $16. So I hit that mark of spending $15 or more to get the five bucks back. Speedstick was also running a promotion this week. When you buy two deodorants, you get $2.50 back in extra care bucks. And again, there was a sale on the deodorants. They were $2.75 each. So I picked up one for me and one for Mark, and they were $2.75 each. So I hit the mark of buying two to get $2.50 back in extra care bucks. I also picked up a tube of Colgate toothpaste and it was on sale for $3. At this point, I believe I was around like $24.50 or so, and I had a coupon for spend $25, get five bucks off. So I needed to pick up something for a dollar. So I went ahead and picked up a little Wet n Wild lipstick, and this one is in the shade 501C, A Short Affair, which is just a really pretty light pink shade, but I'm gonna put it in a box that I made for my flower girl. So it's really cute, and it totally went with my deal. Okay, so that brought my total to $25.49. I did use another coupon for $5 off a $25 purchase that CVS emailed to me. I used a CVS coupon for $2.50 off the Colgate toothpaste and that does print out for everyone at the red coupon machine. I also used one manufacturer coupon for 50 cents off one Colgate toothpaste. So that made that toothpaste free. I also used two manufacturer coupons for 50 cents off one speed stick. And I also used two manufacturer coupons for $3 off of two Dove hair care products. 
I also rolled over the $10 in extra care bucks from transaction one, and that brought my total down to 49 cents. Dang, how amazing is that? And it gets better because I got back $7.50 in extra care bucks. So my grand total for transaction number one and two was $2.47. and I still walked out of the store with $7.50 in extra care bucks to use for next week's deals. So just think about that. Spending $2.47 for all of the stuff that I have shown you today is amazing, and when you break it down, that's only 17 cents per item. Okay, if you have any questions, if you're confused about anything, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely try my best to get back with each and every one of you. And if I have a lot of the same questions, I'll try to address them in the next Beauty on a Budget. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. Also, I would love to hear if you picked up any deals this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to check out the other Beauty on a Budget videos down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.